Now, back to Hockey Talk on 1440 and 92.1 WNFL. Hey, welcome back to the program tonight. Jason Scott along with assistant coach Cody Chup. Tonight's my favorite time of the show here. Where we're going to play a little Know Your Teammate. Scotty, are you excited? I am. It's uh, see how well these guys know each other here. That's, I mean, this is the whole point of our show, and we are here first and foremost. We have Gordy Meyer outside the studio right now, so we're not going to cue him into these answers, and we got Andrew Peake uh, in with us as well, and we're going to ask you, here's how it goes. We ask you six questions, three coming off your bio, and then three random questions. You're going to answer, and we're going to see how well Gordy matches up with your answers. You ready to go? Oh, I'm ready. First and foremost, I got to ask you, you know, looking at your bio, you've uh, won the bronze medal at the World Junior A Challenge. Uh, you played a, a couple of years, actually, um, internationally. Is there something that stands out to you representing the United States? Um, it's just a huge honor being able to wear USA on your jersey, and it's something that not everyone gets uh, the chance to do. I've just been really fortunate to be been given three opportunities so far to do that. Now, you're from, and this is one of the questions we're going to ask Gordy, but you're from Parkland, Florida. If you go down in Florida right now, because I was in Las Vegas, and the only reason people know Green Bay, Wisconsin, is the Green Bay Packers. Is that true? I mean, do people know where, where Green Bay is at down there? Or is it just Packers? Um, it's mostly Packers. Yeah. I mean, some people I talk to will be like, hey, I'm going to Green Bay. They'll be like, Are you, which states that's in? Like, that's, that's <laughs> exactly. Packers, so, I mean, that's pretty much all I hear about them down there. When we were in Las Vegas, all they did, Scott was tease us about our accent. So, I mean, that's, it's a Wisconsin draw. I don't know. I, don't, I, don't, I remember I being I've recruited, been... yeah, to come and play hockey in uh, Green Bay or De Pere and uh, learning about the unbelievable weather and the beautiful sights that you can see and all the things that you learn uh, in order to come here. Didn't know that it was going to be 30 below and snowing and everything else. So It's Canada's doorstep. Yes, that's for I sure. love it. Felt like home. All right, so first question we're going to give to Gordy is your hometown. Second one, this is my favorite one. We're coming off of Valentine's Day here this past Sunday. So give us the worst gift you've received or given on Valentine's Day. Um, honestly, I haven't been given that many Valentine's Day gifts, but last year I was kind of talking to a girl back in Connecticut, and she gave me the occasional card and a couple chocolates, which, I mean, I love. And then all of a sudden I saw... <laughs> A pink teddy bear. And I was like, <laughs> really pink? Like, are you, you're giving me a pink teddy bear? And she's like, yeah, I thought it'd be nice, like referring to Valentine's Day. I was like, I mean, thank you, but any other color probably would have been a little bit better for me than pink. <laughs> I wouldn't bring that up to your teammates. <laughs> Do you, I mean, the, I'm assuming the pink teddy bear's gone, right? Yeah, I think, <laughs> I, think I may have left it back at prep school. What do you think, Scott? What, what uh, any Valentine's Day? I mean, you played sport of hockey. You get to know some crazy people. Well, I was just thinking back to how... Honestly, how do you kind of talk to a girl? Um, she was just kind of... <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> I knew I was coming to Green Bay, and she was a little, like, scared that nice. I wouldn't be able to, like, see her ever again, so she wouldn't fully commit to well, me. Well, the deal like breaker is the pink teddy bear. Then it's yeah. like, it's over. Yeah, it was. It didn't last much longer after that. That's where you don't call her. You just send the text. You're like, yeah, it's... It's kind of going, we're going separate ways. In hockey, you got to remember all these guys moving in from other places too. It's a new experience coming to new schools and you don't know. I mean, Valentine's Day is just another day. Yeah. 